Most LLM applications today are chat-based. The user can send back and forth messages to interact with it. But how would you evaluate this over a conversation? Sure, you can evaluate based on its response over a single term, but that doesn't capture the nuance needed in a multi-term dialogue, where users can ask follow-up questions, change their minds, or need clarification across terms. One way to evaluate is to create a simulation with another AI, where one model plays the role of the user sending messages to your application, and you observe how the conversation unfolds over multiple turns to test for metrics such as goal completion and helpfulness. Hi, this is Catherine from Langcheng. Today, we're excited to launch Open Evals, a set of utilities to simulate full conversations and evaluate your application performance across multiple turns. To do this, there are a few key components in Open Evals. First, you need the chat-based application that you want to test. And second, a simulated user. This represents the human on the other side of the chat. You can define specific personas or conversation flows to test how your application reacts in different situations. Third, you can define a set of evaluation criteria. This is where you define the success over the conversation turns, whether the agent was able to resolve the user's inquiry within a set number of turns, if it followed a set of predefined procedures, and the overall sentiment of the user. Now let's see what that looks like step by step. First, you want to define an application function. The application can be any application that accepts messages in thread ID and returns a chat message as response. It works seamlessly with any LM framework, whether you're building with Langgraph or something completely custom. Second, you want to create a simulated user. You can give it a system prompt to set up user persona. There are also additional parameters that you can customize. You can define prefix trajectories or create your own simulated users. Third, you'll define evaluators. In this step, you can create trajectory evaluators. One example is LM as a judge, where you grade user satisfaction based on the conversation. And finally, putting this together, you can run multi-turn simulations by passing in the application, user, trajectory evaluators, and defining a stopping condition. In this case, we have defined the max number of turns to be five. Now let's hop over to the notebook where we will see some of this in action. Here we'll be evaluating interactions with a customer support agent that has already been deployed. First, in terms of setup, we get the client, create a new thread, and create relevant assistant ID for the agent. We then create the application logic for the agent. We feed all the inputs into our deployed app, we string the output, and we return the final message from our application. The next step is creating a simulated user. Here we give it a persona by feeding it with a system prompt, telling it to be a frustrated user who wants a refund for the most recent purchase. From here, we'll create three evaluators that we'll then use to evaluate the simulation. The first centers around user satisfaction. The second is around issue resolution. And third is around the tone of the conversation where we likely want our customer support agent to remain their professionalism throughout. Putting this all together to run the simulation, we're feeding it with the application, the user that we have created, the trajectory evaluators, we set the maximum number of conversation turns to be five, and feed it with a thread ID that we have created earlier. This has finished running, and we can inspect the list of exchanges between our agent and our user. So first we can see that our agent asked for a follow-up question on a customer identifier, where the human then provides information around its customer ID, and our agent finally responds that it has proceeded with a refund request, and our agent provided additional information on the refund status, as well as the sales support agent who handled the request. Taking a look at the evaluator result, we can see that all three tests have been passed, where we achieved user satisfaction towards the end, successfully result for their refund request, and our agent has been able to remain professional throughout the conversation. Now I want to showcase additional parameters you can pass in to customize the run multi-turn simulation function. Specifically, we'll be adding a stopping condition parameter in this example. The stopping condition parameter takes in a callable function that outputs a Boolean. So here, we first create a data schema called condition that we're using to define the format for the output, where we want it to be true if the stopping condition was met and false otherwise. 
Next, we create a stopping condition function called has satisfied that takes in a trajectory and returns in the data schema that we have defined above. Here we first create a structured LLM that outputs in a condition format. Then we give it a system prompt, asking it to determine if the stopping condition was met where the user needs to confirm that there are no additional issues that the customer support agent can help with. We also pass in the conversation from the trajectory. We format the prompt here, using it to invoke our structured LLM and return the Boolean that our structured LLM returns. From here, we rerun the multi-turn simulation by putting this all together, passing the same parameters with the addition of the stopping function, which is the function that we have defined above. It will call the function at the end of every turn to decide if the conversation should be ended. Looks like our simulation has finished running and inspecting the number of turns, it seems like the stopping condition was triggered before the max number of conversation turns limit was hit. And similarly, all three evaluate results across satisfaction, resolution, and professionalism return true. Now with open evals, you can simulate a full conversation between your application and a user, and then evaluate how well your agent performs across the entire interaction. It works seamlessly with any LLM framework, whether you're building with LangGraph or something completely custom, giving you a flexible, framework-agnostic way to test and improve your agents. Thank you for watching.